All right, folks, I didn't plan on making another video, but what the heck. Here's for the 0567 Ford 500 with the um, wiring harness that shapes back there on the AC line. So as you can see, I got the bolts out on each side of the strut tower brace. I'm just taking this motor mount off right here. This here's a 5 eighths. This side here is a half inch. Let me get it off. So anyways, get those off there. Take this one off here first. This is a 5 eighths nut. And then come over here to this half inch bolt. This bolt threads through here. So you gotta get this one out second, okay? So then, go ahead and get that out of there. That whole bracket will come right out. And yes, I understand it's the internet and there's a bunch of crybabies and someone's gonna bitch and snivel if I don't tell them what size socket I used, right? Because they don't want to look it up or try a couple. So there you go. 15 sixteenths. That's for those right there. Okay, folks? There you go. You're welcome. Okay, that whole thing will lift out of there. Let's get it out of there. See? Comes right out. No big deal. Now we got a little more access for here. Use a little flathead screwdriver, push in in there, and this uh, EVAP canister will slide backwards and you'll be able to move it. Let's do that now. Okay, flathead, push in on here while you're sliding backwards. See, it'll come loose. Let's get a little more room. Let's disconnect the uh, electrical side here. Just push down and pull. There you go. Let me maneuver that out of the way. We'll be back. Okay, some people say you have to get the tire steering fluid reservoir off of there, which I don't know, maybe you do. I think there's plenty of room. I can get my hand down there just fine. See, here's where it rubs, right under here. Let me try to get a good view of this where you can, you know what? Here, let me get a light because I'm going to show you. The, cor the corrugated um, wire loom has actually made grooves in the actual AC line. Yes, it can happen. Let me show you that. Okay, I'm zoomed in. I have a light up there. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see it or not. I'm going to try to move this out of the way. <sighs> Look at those grooves right above the cap for the AC fill. Those are actual grooves. Let me, let me try to get the light in there better. All right, we're going to try this again. Hopefully you guys can see this. There you go. See that? Look at those. Those are actual grooves in the aluminum. I mean, that's pretty deep. That's probably not too far from going through it. And that's just caused by that plastic rubbing on it over and over and over again. So we're going to remedy that right now. Now, mine has not um, rubbed through the, uh, the, um, the wire loom there. So I'm just going to put a little piece of foam under it and we should be good to go. If yours is rubbed through, then you're going to have to start unbolting stuff. The loom runs through here, and you're going to have to, you know, you're going to have to repair those lines and those wires, and it's probably not going to be too easy. All right, folks, so I got this poop pull noodle I was going to put back there, but that looks kind of generic, right? I don't look, even though you can't see it. Yeah, yeah I got this pipe uh, insulation. It's got a slit in it. I don't know if I'm going to put this over the wire, or over the aluminum but we're going to get in there and i'll let you know when i figure it out all right folks so let's get get you one last look back there there's that wire that rubs it's all rubbed underneath there see that wire and harness right there so i think what i'm going to do at least i'm going to try this i'm going to take this pipe insulation you can see it's split cut a little notch there my thinking is i'm going to put it on this way and that'll straddle the uh the charge port right there. I mean, if I have to charge the AC in this, obviously I'm going to have to take that uh, strut brace off and, you know, the uh, EVAP purge and everything to get to it anyway. So, yeah, let's throw this on there real quick. On second thought, maybe we'll just do it like that. Well, folks, what do you think? I think since the wires aren't broken in there, I think that might work. See how I got that? Just right around there like so. So it's resting on it. I think that'll work. 
Let's get you a little more up close look. There we go. Yeah, I think that'll be just fine. Still access everything. Now they also say this wire can also rub on the back of the cylinder head on the lift point. So don't know if I can see that back there, but that's something else to be aware of, guys. Obviously, this wire harness can rub everywhere and get chafed everywhere, so just keep an eye on it. Um, even if your car isn't experienced, it is not experiencing a problem, I'd highly, highly recommend doing this. Just so it doesn't leave you stranded on the side of the road. All right, let's put the EVAP purge solenoid back on here. See how it goes on here. I didn't show you it coming off, but I'll show you it going back on. There we go. See? Slides on there. Watch this little tab in there. There, I'm going to lock in there and hold it. There's a connector right here, the electrical connection. Click. Good to go. All we have to do is put that strut brace back on there. Look at that intake manifold. Look at how they accommodated the strut brace. Crazy. All right, folks, just literally set that strut brace back in there. Just go underneath this uh, vacuum line right here. Okay. You guys remember what size these were? I don't. I showed them to you. So that way nobody would cry about it, remember? You guys know who I'm talking about. Not you. The other people. You know, you show them how to adjust headlights or how to do this or that, and they take 10 minutes to write you a story about how they're crying and they're triggered and they're coddling over in the corner because they didn't uh, get a good enough view of how to adjust a freaking headlight, man. It's a headlight. There's probably hundreds of videos out there, hundreds of articles. Not that hard. But, you know. There goes that. Take our bolt here with the half inch head on it. Oh, there we go. See that? And right through there. Let's thread her on through. There she goes. Once you get this through, you're going to want to tighten this because there is threads over here on the side. It's like a safety precaution thing, right? Because it is a motor mount. Go ahead, guys. Tell me here you're not supposed to use a ratcheting wrench to apply torque. I'm going to destroy the gears. Okay. Take your 5 8 nut. Put it over here. Hmm. Looks like it wants to be crossed through it. Oh, look at that. Oh, looks like the threads have come out of that or something. Look at that, the threads came right out of it. Well, almost looks like a Healy coil. All right, I'll get off. The, I'll get that off there, put a new nut on. But anyways, you guys got it. All right, leave me a like, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you've had this problem. All right, guys, take care. Catch you next time. 302 up here in northern Nevada.